this video, I show you how to leverage an AI tool called Midjourney to create bespoke precedents for your project. To get you started, if you've got a little bit of a designer's block or you're struggling to find a precedent online, Midjourney is the perfect place to just start to describe what you want from your project and it'll give you some unbelievable examples to give you that much needed inspiration and the perfect starting point. So let's get into it. Before we start with Mid Journey, I wanted to just explain how I would normally find a precedent or a bit of inspiration for a new project. And that is predominantly using the amazing website that is Design. I would then search for something like brick building, and then we get something like that gorgeous project right but it always it isn't always that simple sometimes you just can't quite find the exact precedent so what i have been doing recently is using mid journey which is one of the leading ai tools at the minute to type in a prompt sort of half you know picturing the project that i've got in mind and in hoping that it, it spits out something that will just get me moving now what i've been doing with some of these 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 lovely kind of outpost shots i've actually been playing with new hero images on the academia website i've even done like a, a, like a painting of a, an architect working late at night and all that sort of stuff it's just an amazing tool to to get you moving you know, in a certain direction. So I'm not going to bore you with how to get on mid journey and all that. There's tons of that out there, and this isn't a lesson in uh, prompt engineering either. All I want to talk you through is what I type in to generate some basic precedents, and then how I would then use that to to kick on with the project. So first things first. I've typed in a prompt here, modern architecture, brick building, large windows, blah, blah, blah. But that didn't quite work. It's a bit too traditional, a um, bit too boring. So I then introduced a name dropping of an architect, one of my favorites being Chipperfield. So I then went to modern brick building in the style of David Chipperfield. And then there's a few little extra ones. You, you, you're meant to tell it like time of day and all that sort of stuff. So soft shadows, sunny day, tall building, glass base with shops on and so on, so on. And then now we're talking. These precedents now are a real good starting point. What I would say is I'm nervous that this is still calling on real examples. Um, I can't be sure of that, but I'm just nervous of it. So a little bit of advice to avoid any copyright claims is to not then just copy that building because there's every chance that that, that exists. Um, so what I would say to you is pluck out some of the, the architectural moves in these precedents and then start to come up with your own version of some of these moves. And obviously your design will also be site specific. So make sure that your design is responding to the site and I'm sure with with those iterations you, you you you'll avoid plagiarism then and what I mean by an architectural move is see the way the this side here of the building is far more recessed there than that side to me that emphasizes the entrance and I do like the way the solid brick element of the upper part of the building then retains down, kind of grounds the, the brick um, element. And it also then emphasizes that that is that kind of the corner of the building. So that move, there's nothing stopping you taking that as, a, as an architectural device and applying that to your project. I then went on and added uh, another architect, another favorite of mine, Ando. Now, it didn't, it didn't really give me any and our options, I don't know whether he's done a brick build and it's all concrete, isn't it? So maybe maybe that didn't quite compute. But what I'm getting at here is you can continue to give Mid Journey some prompts and it'll continue to give you some examples. I quite like 
when a piece of curtain walling is double, triple, quadruple height and it really emphasises verticality in a design. So that might be something that you'd you'd want to take. Kind of like this entrance area as well. You've got a little bit of coloured glass panels there and then a full curtain wall element to the, to the street side as well. I think that's quite interesting. I then emphasised that I wanted to see a tall building. Now, even though I've been saying tall building in these prompts, it hasn't been given me. So I added the word tower with a bit of landscape in front. And it did start to yield some, some quite interesting results. I love this, um, this kind of, the way it turns the corner on a cave, this little plinth in front. That, that, there's, some, there's something in that. Um, the other three aren't, aren't fantastic, to be completely honest. So, if we to then do a, a live prompt, just to move away from, from brick, you do forward slash, imagine, and I can, you know, let me type in something like modern concrete building in the style of Tadao Ando, um, large glass windows, um, elevated on stilts. I've been, using, I've been using stilts a bit, so let's just pop that in. Elevated on stilts, um, grassy, grassy landscape. Soft shadows, a sunny day. Um, I'll just do some of the large spans of glass. Angular design, modern architecture. And you give it an aspect ratio, 16 by 9. So we're back and we've got four examples here of modern concrete buildings on stilts in a grassy landscape. I mean, how good is that? <laughs> and, and also, while we're on this, what a what a great tool for starting a, a university project as well. Uh, gone are the days of uh, sitting for hours in libraries. <clears throat> These examples, they're of a certain taste. I think, I think top left is the weakest. Um, the other three, I think, are, are very interesting. They are very Tadao Ando. Loads of glass, love that kind of elevated position in the landscape. Not sure how, how that would work, structure looks like it wants to fall over to one side. But very, very interesting pieces of design. I would then take one of these examples. Let's just do like the, one, one of these top right, because it's, it's quite simple, really. Now, obviously, you need to apply your designs to a, a site, right? But just just to give you a little indication of how I would then take one of those ideas. I would then start to mock up something like this. And you've got the, <clears throat> the very beginnings I'm not saying this is the finished article by any means, but you've got the very beginnings there of a project. And then from that, you can start to add more detail. See the way you've just got these little recessed areas. Maybe there's an opportunity to put a little balcony there. The ends maybe look a little bit different. You know, I like the way that's broken up a little bit differently. Love that big stair, big industrial staircase that goes in there. Obviously that doesn't meet access requirements, but it looks quite good. And you know th th these pathways and all that sort of stuff. There's loads of other little ways then that you can you can add you know a bit more detail to it. So if I just then finish one more um, <clears throat> concrete, yeah, let's, let's, again let's just do modern concrete building uh, in the city, urban scene, um, close up shot of. Elevation, um, polished concrete, large windows, modern design, modern architecture, evening, um, let's do like wide angle lens. And let's just see if this gives us something to then just again, just, just, just a bit more inspiration, just to add a bit more detail to what has been 
a fairly interesting starting point. So we've got these examples. And what I would say from these is that it does give a bit of a sense of proportion. That's a little top heavy where you've got like a single line of glaze in there and it's kind of a double line above. Not bad, you know, little look at lighting there. This is quite interesting as well. Very rhythmic and simple facade. So they're not, I'll be honest with you, they're not, they're not the best examples, but you can see how you continue to put specific requests into these AI uh, tools to really develop your design ideas. So I think absolutely fantastic. Hopefully it's not coming from your job too soon. And for now, I'm, uh, I'm all for it. So I hope that's helped. hope that's quite interesting. And any questions, or if you want to see more like this, let us know in the comments. Thanks for